Good day, and welcome back to Baxter's Blades. This is way back Wednesday. It's an open tag, started by Warthog. If you have not checked out his channel, please do. He has a bunch of amazing pieces. For sure, check him out. Um, I have not done a Way Back Wednesday before uh, because I really haven't had anything old enough. This is a razor knife. It is as you can see a W.R. Case and Sons from Bradford Pennsylvania. Gunslinger Cal Help me date this primo razor knife. And I had no idea it was so old. The Ting Stamp is from 1905 to 1914. I've had it in my collection, or I've had it. It's probably my first in my collection. Besides my old crappy Swiss Army knives. Um, from when I was like 21. So I've had it probably 28 years. I had no idea it was this old. So if you hadn't heard the story before, the story goes. <clears throat> When I turned 20, I went to the coast of California to play some music. When I turned 21, I packed up all my stuff and left it at my parents and hopped freight trains up to the Northwest. Something I always wanted to do. When I got to Seattle, um, I was, I'm guessing I found this in an antique store, some sort of antique store downtown Seattle, probably first Ave. cannot remember. That's how long it's been. And I cannot imagine this was more than $10 because I didn't have much money then and I would not have bought it. Now, if you look really close, you can see there's like a crack in the blade there. So it's not really usable as a straight edge razor. So I could see it going for that cheap. But this was back in 95, 1995, way back then. <laughs> Had no idea it was from 1905 to 1914. Thank you, Gunslinger Cal, for all your help. We've kind of figured that these are celluloid handles. Which is really cool. They haven't gassed off or shrunk or had any problems whatsoever. Um, when I get the measuring tape, it's pretty much five inches in the handle. Now, if you add the flipper tab, <laughs> five and five eighths, you know, to flick it open. Very cool says Primo here. I just feel so honored that <clears throat> when I picked this up, it was an actual case knife. The cutting length is about two and five eighths. With a blade length of two and seven eighths. With a tang length of, well, I guess I should open it all the way. One and one sixteenth. So the full blade, I guess, we'd say it's about three and seven eighths. If those measurements mean anything to you. Very cool piece. Carbon steel, obviously. I've actually 
cleaned it up. It looks much better. I didn't want to take all the patina off of it. I just kind of wanted to be able to see the Primo. I wanted to be able to see the W.R. Case and Sons, Bradford, Pennsylvania. Very cool piece. I honestly think when I originally bought it that I was going to use it to shave. But when I got it back and I saw the blade like that, super thin. It's probably been dropped thousands of times. It is like flimsy tinfoil almost. There's a big crack right here. And so I'm not doing anything with it. This is a showpiece and that's probably why it was in the antique store. Um, I know it's not a knife. But this is actually my only razor, straight razor, that I own. And I've, I've just am dumbfounded that I had it for this many years. And it took me this long to figure out that it was super old. So this is my first way back Wednesday. Thank you very much, Warthog, for this open tag. I really appreciate it all. Stay sharp and don't crack. Have a good day.